today, some of the dealer tanners and I, we decided to feed the homeless. And it was a really cool experience. Well, here's some footage of what I got today. These are all the sandwiches that are being made. Uh, we ran out of jelly, unfortunately, so they're peanut butter sandwiches. But these are the lunch bags that we're going to pass out tonight for all the homeless people in Las Vegas. Huh. Yay! And we're excited. We're really excited to uh, make food for people. Because apparently, from what I've been told, the filters that give out like food kitchens are terrible, terrible food. So we're trying to help people out and give them better meat tonight. Huh. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> are we need to run that program, let's go please. Obliged to be noble. Talking. Obliged to be noble. Okay? Means whatever we can do, we should do. Hmm? Thanks. We are the Dealer Tainers, and we rock. So we are here, and we are about to go to... Where, what, where are we going? Where exactly are we going in Las Vegas? We need to get Washington and Las Vegas Boulevard, and then and who are you? Okay, so we are the Dealer Tainers. I play Pink and Gwen Stefani. Who do you do? <laughs> I play Reba. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Carrie Underwood. Cool. And we made, how many bags did we make? Over 130. That's good. That's going to do a lot of people. So we're going to be on our way. Out of respect for the homeless, I decided not to film us, you know, giving away food and stuff. But I will say that it was a very real and wowing experience wow to have because um, you don't realize how bad things can be until you see it firsthand and you know you know, I see I've seen lots of videos before and stuff of the homeless and you know I just you know you just don't get a really good feel of it until you're there and um, I mean we I gave away food to um, this guy who had no pants on and no shoes on and we were in a dirt field in one in one of the locations that we went to and it was just it was just I, I don't even have the words to describe how I feel about this whole thing you know it makes you want to do more I will say that um, you know we went to five different locations it was nearby downtown Las Vegas so there was a lot of different locations that we went to, a lot of different places that um, people sleep. And the sad thing that um, a few of us were talking about on the way back home, we were just saying, you know, these people aren't bothering anyone. They're sleeping in places that are hidden from public view when it comes to like, you know, uh, tourists and all that stuff. You know, they're just out in the middle of nowhere. And they were, and these people were telling us um, that the hardest part about their situation is that when they finally get a chance to get a blanket or get a tent or get something that they can have some kind of shelter in, the city comes in and cleans it up and throws it all away. And um, I can't imagine, like, you don't have anything as it is. And when you leave your stuff in one area and come back to it later that day, to see that it's gone, it's just, man, it's so, it's sad. And I feel like that's so wrong. That I don't see the other side of it. I really don't because, damn, really? They don't have anything as it is and you're going to take away what they do have. It's just, it's crazy. But, I mean, there are people that like to make light of the situation. You know, I gave a little bag to someone and I was like, hey, you know, here's some peanut butter jelly sandwich and there's water and, and you know, fruit and stuff. I mean, this guy <laughs> was like, Man, I don't want no peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm tired of sandwiches. You guys need to bring barbecue chicken. No more peanut butter jelly sandwiches. <laughs> and it was just so hilarious. I could not stop laughing. The guy was really funny, and it was just, it was, it was funny. And um, <laughs> now I kind of want to bring barbecue chicken. But um, it was good to know that there were some people that did have their sense of humor and stuff. And it was really nice to see how appreciative everybody was it was I will say it was very scary at first because it was a bunch of girls and we all were like what are we doing and, and uh, but for some reason something just hit me and I'm like no we have food it's not like we're just gonna stand there and look stupid you know so it, it was really cool and um, I can't wait to do it again dealer tanners have been doing charitable work 
I'm pretty sure since we've opened and you know the, the night shift I'm part of the day shift but the night shift has done so many things you know um, and now the day shift is partaking in you know our side too and I'm one day we're all gonna collaborate and do one big thing and unfortunately I, I did a participate with the night shift once you know um, performing at a retirement home and um, I know you guys gosh I know you guys are watching I know you guys in a lot more too I just don't know right now um, and I I hope that I can take my camera on the next charitable event, but if I can't, I'll definitely blog about it because, you know, it's just, it's nice to share, you know, and it's kind of inspirational. If you work for a company, well, first off, if you're lucky to have a job right now, and you work for a company that is partaking in a um, food drive or something like that, like a clothing drive or something, please do your best to try to participate um, because People need to eat, people need to have clothes, and there's always something in the house that you don't use or you don't need, and um, yeah, it's just, after doing this tonight, uh, I'm really gonna get myself involved. It's, it's an eye-opener. So, I just say, hey everyone, help somebody out. If you know someone's having problems, you know, if you see someone on the street, you know, buy them an extra burger when you go to Jack in the Box. I mean, go back to the, homeless guy that you see here. But I'm not saying in a way to gather up some friends and go to the dark alleys of your town and pass out food because that's not as safe. But I mean there are shelters, there are food um, uh, food kitchens, uh, soup kitchens and stuff like that. You can also bring, I'm pretty sure they'll let you bring prepared meals and you know packages and stuff like that for these people. So help, help, help. I know everyone's struggling, people are losing their homes, their jobs, money, everything. So I think right now the world needs to start coming together and feeding each other and clothing each other and just helping each other the most the best that they can. So good luck you two. Have fun.